We're more than a month in now for Bone Collection, and so far I've enjoyed the series. I think it's got a good balance of the action and the comedy within it, so I think that that's already doing like a pretty good start. Because generally when you have series when they, I, I think at least um, from what I've seen uh, from a lot of newer series lately, when they do comedy, it, it tends to be way more in the, that direction for more uh, comedic values and for, you know, the, the chuckles that they're going for. And usually they work, but then they, I think they end up getting, uh, it ends up steering away more, at least early, from more of like, a, you know, laying down the, you know, the story, the characters and whatnot, and like power establishment and, and everything. And so, it, I don't know, when it, when it see, it sometimes feels a little too silly when they start out, I think it, it, makes it a little harder to uh, kind of get into them unless they're like specifically supposed to be more of a uh, gag style series. Uh, Bone Collection has been, I actually think, a really good um, a really good balance of these things. Kind of like Mashal. I think both of those series um, have done a great job of having that, uh, that good balance. But anyway, we're talking about Bone Collection obviously in this one. So um, in this chapter, we got like a little bit more of this guy that we're, that they're going to go and interact with this character that they have to go take down, and uh, he was a friend of um, a friend of Pyra's. Uh, essentially, like she's talking about how back in the you know in their world in the yokai world, whenever uh, this dude Bay and her like it, after any time that she had some like long out fight that she had to deal with that. He and her would drink and just kind of party and just chill. They would just have like a good, good friendly time and just hang out, get you know, get some stress off, and uh, and just they've bonded over that. And he doesn't seem like he's a as a bad guy because she even mentions how like he's not somebody that would go after humans. And so I was actually kind of thinking more of the series right now. Um, I talked about in the last week's chapter that I was wondering that if this series does survive you know those that first couple chapters and doesn't get axed it's like well then what exactly is going to be like what, what will it do in the longer run um if they're already dealing with like a to s class uh level characters because obviously if if we get into a part where it's like yeah there's going to be uh you know uh, maybe this series does really well and uh and then they're like all right you're good you know keep making chapters and whatnot keep up the good work then I was like, well, at what point are we going to get to where there's, um, are they going to run out of enemies? Because they're already kind of like running through these A-ranked kind of guys. But I was thinking, if all of these S-class dudes are all kind of like boss level characters, if there's 25 of them, like S-class and up, you can honestly just, you could just make the series off of that. Because I was thinking, like, if you spread them out, if you have 25 or so enemies, like, you can easily do the series on that. So... Just as a, as a side note, because I brought it up before, I figured I would uh, mention it just because I, I came to that realization while thinking about the series um, within the last week. But so now, like, they're outside, and they've gone to this uh, mansion. They're, they're getting ready to go and try and uh, and, and deal with this guy. Pyra doesn't think that they're going to have to... That she doesn't want to kill him. She doesn't want to do anything to exercise him or, like, take this guy out or anything. Because this is her friend, and she knows that, like, uh, that he's not like a threat and there's nothing bad that should be going on in involvement to him which was which is nice because i like that the even if it's like a sillier part um you know with like the drinking and stuff and like seeing them them kind of just party it shows a more um it shows like the tame side and i know they're not human but you know what i mean like a more human side where it's like it's not they're not just monsters like they, they deal with like some dangerous stuff and you know they are a potential threat but it looks like a lot of them don't seem to really do much. And so far, as on top of that, from what we've seen, only like the A class and below seem to really be like a, a bit of a nuisance. Not even all of them, because we saw that some of the lower class ones are like so weak that they're pretty much harmless. They, they don't cause any problems. So I'm wondering if it's uh, like some of them are more of like coaxed into doing bad things. Maybe some of them are just kind of not as civil and the uh higher end level ones will only be like uh only be like causing a ruckus and a threat based off of like schemes or plans or like you know something to do with like uh their own plot and it's not just oh yeah we're going into terrorize we're gonna go be a nuisance it, maybe it'll have something to do more with like their own personal uh character stories and i i think that would probably work 
more and it would make sense if, like i said if they're more like a box kind of style character like if you had like oh two of these guys are going to be in this arc and you have like a good chunk of time uh to kind of like lay them out and do part of a story with them um, I don't know, I, I feel like it could easily work with a pretty good length of, of stuff. And we know that the Yokai spell can, uh, like, all the guys that are S-Class, like, they, I, I don't remember if there's any more, or if it's just that there's 25 S-Class and up that were people that got kind of, like, altered from the Yokai spell. So maybe there could be more out there, or there could be some that even the Exorcist don't really know about, or more can get created. So that's just something in, in regards to the series to, to to build off for later, which I think is really cool. I like when you have something like that um, established in the series that, if need be, you can easily like uh, you can easily just add more into the world, add more to what's going on, and you know develop new threats as the story goes. So they're going, they go to this mansion, they see these kind of like kids outside playing and stuff, and these uh, monsters that come rushing out. I like seeing uh, the girl. I'm just going to call her because uh, it was like Abe. And then I, I was like, well, maybe it's pronounced Abe. Then if it's supposed to be like a, a girl's name, I'm just going to go with Akifuyu because that's just uh, easier for now. But I like seeing her use this ability. She kind of just makes like a little the little square with her fingers looks through, creates a barrier on these kids and kind of just rushes in, which is done in like a sillier way with Reno. Uh, but she's like in the like Akifuyu is inside of her weird muscle dude kind of like disguise goes in and um and while pyra is like hey saying like hey you know uh you, you know use your power she's kind of just like opening up uh part of her uh her outfit so he can reach it and get one of her bones but he's using these talismans to just pretty much put barriers on these guys to like capture them and just kind of render them unable to fight and the reason that is is because he's like saying how if these guys are friends of this Bay dude and Bay is a friend of Pyra, he doesn't want to hurt somebody's, uh, you know, he doesn't want to, he doesn't cause any damage to a friend of a friend, which is, which is nice because we already know that, uh, that Kazami, um, Kazami sees the, he sees the yokai more as the individuals. He doesn't say like, oh, it's a yokai, it's, it's a bad person, it's a bad creature, we got to take care of it. He sees them more as who they are and, you know, gives them a fair chance and, you know, if they're good, then he's, he seems cool with them and if they're bad then you know he knows what to do but um it's just these guys aren't even really yokai they're just kind of like you know they're just mud dolls they're just little familiars that this dude sends out to to deal with them and it was because of uh it was because of the fact that he he saw them more as uh i think it's because he saw them more as people but also he was doing something to um to be kind to pyra that their synchronization rate went up so We've mentioned before, and uh, well, I've mentioned before. I don't know if I've had any discussions about bone collection with anyone really yet. But uh, it was mentioned before that, like, they, um, you know, they're taking note of, like, the mark on, like, his face and his hair growing. And I was talking about how, like, the, the scar that he has got, like, it altered a little bit while, like, he was, uh, you know, using the Yokai spell. It wasn't just his hair. Like, something else about him kind of, like, um, went along with it. And that was the scar kind of, like, changed... The scar kind of like changed shape a little bit, got bigger, um, and here we're seeing that um, uh, from the um, Akifuyu guys like saying how, oh, uh, you know, the the percentage is going up from their synchronization rate of, you know, the Yokai spell. Beforehand, they're pretty much just using 1%. It's just like the base level of like, oh, yeah, you know, you guys are you're able to use them on them. They get their power, and they're, you get part of their power, and then, you know, you can continue from there. But because of the way that, um, you know, that he well, kind of, like, thought more about uh, Pyra and all this, that the synchronization between them went up. So now it's at 5%, and he's got a more powerful weapon. You can see the mark on his face a lot, like, get bigger. And clearly the power output from the weapon is stronger. And he's got this katana with, like, this, like, spinal kind of, like, area along part of the uh, the back of the blade near the bottom. It actually looks uh, similar to what the uh, the one from the one shot was, because it was, I think it was a little bit different. I think it was more like like this part of the spine was way more along the blade. It was a lot bigger, but obviously if this is only five percent, then it's going to get stronger from here, which I think is really cool. I like that it's going to have their kind of like their relationship be part of um, be part of like how things continue on with the series. And like obviously, if he gets stronger then that's because him and Pyra have gotten closer as individuals. 
So pretty pretty fun stuff. I like that. Uh, I like that part of the ability kind of introduced. That the part we've only seen is only one percent. It's not that strong. And then here we have an advancement of his power. Pretty short in, but through a, a pretty understandable reason. I like that a lot. I like that this means that it's not directly that it's going to be like, oh yeah, because Pyra is really powerful, he's going to be really powerful. It's going to depend on their relationship, and obviously if something bad happens between them, he's going to probably lose uh, synchronization amounts and possibly get weaker. So part of the way that he's going to get stronger throughout the series Probably not only his own self, like if he wants to like, you know, physically put in the work and get, you know, physically more fit and become better in like combat, maybe like learn, um, you know, some martial arts or some weapon styles with the weapons he's using, but also just uh, the, the way that him and Pyra are going to evolve as characters together will make them stronger along the way just in general, which I like a lot. But anyway, other than that, no comment below. Tell me your thoughts about this series. I like it so far. I think it's pretty enjoyable. I'm hoping it uh, it makes it. And doesn't get axed. I, I think it's been, had a pretty strong start for only a, a handful of chapters into the series. Because this, what's this chapter? It was either five or six. I don't remember off the top of my head. Let me, let me pull over the, the thing. Chapter six. But anyway, other than that, they'll comment below. Tell me your thoughts about the, like a cha this chapter, like I said. And uh, other than that, I really appreciate thumbs up the video. Put on the like button, subscribe button, and check out my other videos. But other than that, I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed. And thank you all for listening. Bye.